You know what's really cool is this ballpark has had the stigma of being where balls go to die for years, for decades. I mean, I used to broadcast with a guy, Chris Pritchett, who tell me, oh, Rob, man, this is the place where you can't hit a ball. Uh, so, you know, back in 2007, they brought center field in 15 feet. So now all of a sudden that's 385 and a little more accessible. But now all of a sudden you go into left field, you bring that into 320 and put a four-foot fence instead of a 20-foot fence. And I think all of a sudden you see, you know, today's hitter combined with the fact that these confines are getting a little tighter, uh, definitely going to help on the scoreboard and, and probably just excitement. Here's how I look at it. Last year, we were really, you know, lucky to be able to go into the media and say, hey, we sold out 23 of the 38 dates and, you know, sold out here, sold out there, and it makes it look like you got a brand that's pretty popular. The reality is, is nothing's worse than having to turn away families as well. So why we built these extra sections, and we did it in two components, is we wanted to make sure that we had two good sight lines, and the other thing that we wanted to do is make sure that we could accommodate all the families that are coming out, because nothing's worse than driving in from the Tri-Cities, or you maybe even take a boat over from the island for the weekend, and you get turned away because our game's been sold out for a week. So I think at this level, uh, we're going to be able to accommodate everybody, but also maintain the dignity of the stadium and make sure that the sight lines and, and just the ambiance of the stadium remains intact.